right guys, leaving Line X of Canton. They're here at 1638 Perry Drive, Canton, Ohio. Right here is Perry Drive right in front of me, Southway's right over there. They do Line X, bed covers, all kinds of different stuff. I'm not gonna give away everything they do here, but this truck will look a lot different when we pick it back up in a few days. So, take a couple quick videos of it. Oh, I wanted to say those new inline ones that I ordered. First time I put the window down, put the window back up, it caught right here on the corner and busted that piece there. So, yeah, got to get a new one of those already. Looks good though. Same place that we had this one, I'm going to be getting in as well, depending on uh, after it comes back from the uh, company just because there's a few spots in the back that need touched up see if we get figured out with the issues on this thing but uh you guys ready to rock and roll yep, let's go. hey Lathan I know you're tired right now and I know why you're tired because you was up commenting on a video at 2 a.m bro yeah I had to go hold the dude uh, get out of Walmart Thank dude you. get out of Walmart All right, no more late night commenting. <laughs> I need that motivation Lathan brings every day, all right? Excuse me. Did we do a good morning to you? Uh, I don't know if we did an official good morning. You walked up and said, are you guys ready to work? So good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing on this beautiful Wednesday? It's beautiful. Well, to be close to 100. Shh. Show Lathan's new Darwin. Oh yeah. Let's point this out real quick. The other one, I don't have it with us, but the piece here was stripping. This is the new unit. So hopefully these teeth hold up a little better and he can adjust it himself without having a tool. So that's nice. You'll have to let us know how you like that one. I'm gonna hate it. Oh, that's a spirit. And Anyways. A big thank you to one of our subscribers. He sent over a, quite a few of those. I'll plug his name down here to show him support. We appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Lathan said thank you. We've had some of you ask why we do a perimeter pass around everything and simply guys and gals that is to cut down on unnecessary trimming for TQ and Lathan especially on big properties like this that have multiple islands, fences, swimming pools, a house, all different types of landscaping and just things that need trimmed around. This helps out a ton and just really cuts down on unnecessary trimming. I was thinking the property kept coming, the neighbor's ends right there. <laughs> So TQ doesn't know, I put a new unnamed 
trimmer line on this and I can tell you right now she's not liking it. She's probably not gonna say anything just yet. guys so a few things real quick we parked on the road this week because where we normally park where there used to be a driveway here it's really starting to grow up so every time we're parked there we can't mow it or trim it so uh this one actually doesn't even need trim this week because the grass is really starting to slow up down in this area we actually skipped a couple of our smaller commercials but uh yeah it's just drying up but Lathan's gonna get some mowing experience here it does need mowed just the uh, trimming tends to go a little bit lower, so it's just not needed. DQ is gonna knock this side out over here. You gotta get Lathan working on those three-point turns a little bit.
coming into your turns, slow down. Just because you're dragging this wheel and then you're trying to whip it real fast. Yeah, I noticed that I do that sometimes. I'm not paying attention. Just slow down because what's happening. It's losing traction because I'm going fast. Well, and you're missing like that back corner because you're trying to whip too fast. It don't give the deck enough time to come through. Yeah. That's, it's called a Y turn, okay? So when you're coming up, you turn into the left side of the Y, back into the top side of the Y, and then go straight back down the one lane of the Y. You know what I'm saying? So just imagine it like this, when you're going this way now. now so, I remember you showed me it when I first started. So when you get to that end, turn into this Y, and then back, back into this one, and come straight back down, okay? Yeah. And then when you come this way, It'll be the opposite. You'll turn into this left side, back into this one, okay, so and then go. Okay. It changes. You're doing good, though. All right. So I just wanted to explain to him real quick. You know, to slow down a little bit on the turn for one, coming in a little too hot, and then trying to stop and getting a little bit of drag, and then that whip. You know, a lot of people think just because it's a zero turn. You know, you just whip it like a zero turn. No, you got to you got to do a proper turn, or you're gonna rip up that sod. It, but she went into the Y, backed into the other one. It's real fluent. So the only thing I'm seeing now is he he's thinking too much and he didn't open up the deck chute, the quick chute there on the side and see now he's got that wind roll there of grass. Going the wrong way, Lathan. I'm sure he'll watch this. So you turn into your next stripe, Lathan. Turn in, back up, come back down this one. perfect Lathan if you see this that was perfect now at this end you need to be turning into your next strike backing up see you're going the wrong way perfect when you get to that and turn into your next strike back up and then come down you're going that way this one you, you're always coming towards your next strike unless you don't have a shoot blocker and you don't want to spray like a truck or a house or something 
This, this, this. Yep, this way, back up, go back down. I've explained it, but we'll see how he does here. He did fine down here last time, just up there he's turning the wrong way. Watch that. Go to the right. There you go. Lost his line. Sorry. Right. Yo! Bump the deck up a half an inch, and I want you to rerun the whole thing back over again. Take your time practicing. I do, I'm just used to, I'm used to the, if it's flat, I can go fast. Yeah, I want it to look good though, okay? So just... Most of it's straight. No, I'm talking, you see the carpet on it? I want to get that off. So just go back down there, practice those turns. Take your time. All right, back home, everything's packed away. We might just be done with lawn care for this week. So yeah, things are really starting to change here around Spencer Lawn Care. Simply guys, going from really cooler temperatures for the year with a ton of rain, to now it's 90 plus degrees it has been for almost two weeks straight 100 plus humidity's through the roof out here i mean it is it is thick it is thick it's probably like florida thick on that humidity level but uh yeah things change fast around here very rapidly and uh are super super dry and like i said i don't know if we're going to be mowing anymore this week i phoned a bunch of our customers and said, hey, does it need done? Does it not need done? You guys let me know because we drove around to a bunch of different lawns after we left that lawn there uh, where we were training Lathan on and just simply it was wasting time, money, fuel, labor, and just was no fun. So with that being said, we're in the tip of a very, very harsh drought. I'm hoping we had a chance for rain today. We were like, yeah, it's definitely coming, definitely coming. It's not coming. It cleared up, moved on out. But uh, yeah, one other thing I wanna point out, I know some of you might think I'm yelling at Lathan when he's on the mower. Definitely 100% not yelling at Lathan. I would never yell at any employee, let alone Lathan. Uh, he's very soft and kind hearted. You know, he's a young kid. Uh, I'm talking loud, okay? Because we all have headsets on, mowers running. That's why a lot of times you'll see him shut it down or shut it completely off, because it's hard to hear. Uh, but with that being said, I just wanted to make sure that was very clear. We're just trying to help him get better. We need him to be better at mowing uh, so that we can just turn him loose on some things and let him rip, you know, and not literally rip like the sod when you're turning, Lathan, but let you rip and just uh, go at it, you know, doing your proper turns. He was getting it there towards the end. Uh, I stopped filming and we let him just completely go over that property again by himself. Uh, TQ kind of had him follow her for a second or she showed him and uh he got it down he really figured it out so it's just uh sometimes you can get overwhelmed especially whenever you know the camera's rolling uh and you know you have say i'm his boss you know staring at him that can be overwhelming you want to perform but uh simply want to get him better and that's what it's all about so a little bit of a off day i guess you could say late and get some sleep but uh yeah we'll be better the next day and then uh be back at it 
I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to get inside, get in the air conditioning. Did I show you guys the new addition? I don't know if I did here or not. I think TQ did on Instagram. So these are our new homies, our new chicks. So our other ones are about a year and a half old and they're laying really good. Uh, but if you don't know, chicks, after so many years, they start cutting back on their production. And you guys know we lost some uh, to the fox over the winter time. So we wanted to replenish. And when we move to the other property, uh, you know, we want a lot more. These guys can uh, clean up ticks and bugs and all that good stuff in a hurry. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out. Peace. Bye.